man. It's gonna be it's gonna lead into something, man. So, you know, about a couple months ago, we you know, this is it's this famous altercation that we had. I just like almost like your initiation, I would say, you know what I mean, into this whole YouTube thing unofficial. Right. And so we kind of had um Spider Lope, he mm -hmm. came through and you guys had your little, you know, uh, disagreement, but at the center of that was T.I., you mm -hmm. know what I mean, snitching. That was pretty much the whole thing was about. And um, first, we want to announce, you know, before we get into the topic, that T.I.'s podcast expeditiously has became number one after this one episode. And he was talking on this particular episode with uh, Freeway Ricky Ross, and they were talking about snitching. And wait till I hear what T.I. said, man. It's crazy. Look, right, how about this one? Here go, here go another scenario. Here go another scenario. All us in the, all us in the car, it's one more person. All right. Uh, Ken driving. All right. The other person, he got a gun. It's his gun. In his bag. I wouldn't give a damn how you going to do that. Oh, 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 when we get out of the car, get searched, patted down, everything, the gun pop up, we all surprised. Oh, shit. What is that? Now, the dude, the sixth person in the car, he playing stupid. He don't know what going on. So we all going to jail. We so we in the holding cell. We know it ain't our gun. We all huddle up. Man, you had a gun. You had a gun. I had no gun. Who had a gun? It must have been this nigga. Okay, cool. So now, no pride discussion. No pride discussion. He didn't tell us he had a gun. Nothing. And how long do we sit in jail before we 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 tap on that motherfucker's window? <laughs> <laughs> how long, how long yeah, we look, sit? What you saying? You don't even bother making the jail. <laughs> You know this so how we shit, with yeah. this shit. <laughs> yeah, but that's a hard Didn't that that's shit come out your bad, bro? That, that shit is count. Like, how you gonna let five more other niggas go down for your strap? Nah, that's not telling. <laughs> yeah, he wants to take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nigga, that's your shit, nigga. Now, now, but if he but don't this, take bro, his shit, though, and you say that's yours and it ain't mine, that's, that's, that's snitching, that's okay. telling. Okay. I told them folks this nigga shit. Hey, that's your shit, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, nigga, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. <laughs> they probably gonna make bond in there. I ain't getting that. <laughs> yeah. hey, right in their face. You want me to tell them you're gonna tell them? <laughs> yeah. Clear this shit up, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think y'all still need to hear that because most of the time, because man. Because you don't you, when we you young, we don't think about sure shit. You won't let yeah. go down for your yeah. A real man gonna be like, yeah, yeah. Man, hey, man, they're mine, man. Let, let them go. Take my leak. Gotta take your leak when you sign. You know, I done been through that. You know what I'm saying? Three of us in the car. And his pistol fall from under the dashboard. Damn. But my homie, he took his. You yeah. know, Me too. Every lick. time I'm yeah. It was his you. lick. He took yeah. his lick. You know, right on the spot. They handcuffed us. He's like, oh, no, no, no. That's mine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, that's a sad. Well, shout out to him, man. You know what I'm saying? One time for standing up. And that's another thing. I think that the people who stay silent, you know what I'm saying? They don't get enough respect reward and appreciation parade. when they come home yeah well not necessarily parade but you know what i'm saying you <laughs> you know what i'm saying you can get applause you know what i'm saying they're gonna give a nigga medal man yeah, yeah. You know, these niggas going out and telling they telling telling yeah yeah, yeah. Telling ain't doing that. We get, yeah i mean that's the thing man the motherfucker they, they ask if they could tell something before they ain't asked about a bond. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> God damn, bro. You ain't hear a bond yeah, yet, bro. Yeah. Uh, so when do, when do I start? Yeah. Oh, fucking shit, we finna give you a bond. Just yeah. hold on. As soon as the feds hit you, they gonna hit we you finna throw this shit out. Years. We finna That's throw this shit out. Hit you, with. you know you're looking at 45 years. And they ain't playing 85%. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they ain't playing. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then they gonna tell you the 85%. Oh, yeah, you gonna do 85% of that. Yeah, ain't man. no parole in that, you know? <laughs> All right, oh God, there's more. Now, T.I. wrote in the caption, to the right, a round table of real ones discuss and distinguish the true definition of a rat. You see, I know how it feels to be, uh, be tagged as some shit that goes all the way against all my morals and principles, but great thing for me, I've never gave a fuck about lies more than the truth on precious. And by the way, if anybody ever wanted to throw a paperwork party, bet money, I'll be in that bitch showed mine on the yard and i still have it on me fyi so all the cap ain't about nothing anyways tune in and subscribe to the new podcast do you want to go first you want, or would you like me to talk? you can go first on this end, man I, I i in the honor is mine appreciate you <laughs> so the first time i actually was introduced to this it was in a, a very real heated conversation between myself and spider loke and he said the whole reason why he even brought up 
T.I. to begin with is because T.I. sent this exact message right here. If anybody wants to have a paperwork party, bet money on that bitch and the rest goes forward. So that's why he initially came out. Something that I did not know at the time. The second I read this, I thought about him and we'd love to have him on the show to have him talk about it because you listen to T.I. And yeah, a lot of what them brothers said made a lot of sense because when you think about and you talk about loyalty amongst brothers, first and foremost, if it's your gun, you take the rap. You don't let anybody go down for that. You got people in that car that had nothing to do with it. Maybe they did. Maybe. They, I mean, that life. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. Oftentimes, I, I could think of a situation of a, of a kid who's an athlete, a superstar, just around his people. And somebody maybe living that life. They all get pulled over, all get locked up for a gun. They're not going to let that dude lose his life and waste his life because of shit they're doing. The honorable thing to do is to take that. But according to the law and according to the, the rule of the land, you can't tell either. So I get the catch 22 and I hear what they're saying. But that's the rule of the land. Now, we've both talked on here on how flawed that rule is. Yeah. But it's the rule. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it should be a common knowledge, man. That's why your yeah, circle is important who you got but sometimes you can be you know if you're in the street and you're doing your thing you can end up in situations where you know a friend of a friend you give him a ride somewhere you don't know what the hell he got he can right. have a tool on him he can have drugs it's your whip he can throw it under the thing and you never you know then everybody goes down for it. or a lot of times they try to pin it on the driver of the car or the owner of the car they say look this in the vicinity of where you know um you could you reach you, you throw it there's yours so that's why it's important to have your circle that knows, like, look, whatever you're driving with is yours. I don't care what you got, what your vice is, what you do, but don't ever think if you're in my vehicle that it's going to be a situation where you're going to try to pin something on me. That has to be already established. Even like, yo, the, the, the cops is pulling us over. You better tuck it, hide it, you know, on, on your body or something like that. But, you know, but this whole snitch thing with T.I., man, to move over to that, we know that he's been labeled a snitch by a lot of different people in his own city, a lot of rappers. And one rapper that we actually had on the uh, podcast here a few months back was Spider Lope. Mm -hmm. He's been very vocal about T.I. And at the time, like you said, he said, you know, T.I. said, you know, uh, paperwork party. And it seems like I don't I can't say for sure that T.I. is addressing people like him, maybe that's not him fact. directly, but that's a but fact. definitely addressing people like him who's saying, look, he's a rat. He's a snitch and saying, look, mm -hmm. he'll be there. And T.I. saying, look, I had. My paperwork on the yard. I'm not no rat. I, it goes against everything that I ever known coming up. So, you know, um, seems seems like it's a pretty dope podcast. Real funny clip right there. But um, we're going to see. You know, we can actually, you know, obviously work some things behind the scenes and get some things going here on the show. Yeah, that's a fact. And and let me make this perfectly clear. On let me just say, speak for myself. And oh God, you can let me know if you attest to this. But no one's trying to start any drama with this. Not at all. But it is interesting. I personally don't give a fuck what he did or did not do. I don't know the story enough. Want to hear the story and, and would like to know different perspectives because he's very, very adamant. He put in caps. If anybody want to throw a paperwork party, bet money, I'll be in that bitch. Showed mine on the yard and still have it. FYI, so all the cap, so all the stuff that he's hearing, everyone just out here getting attention, looking for attention, which was the original reason why Spider Look was even mad at me to begin with because I said he was looking for an attention in a way that he wasn't liking and appreciating. But T.I. is basically saying everyone's looking for attention and saying that I can't wait to talk to other people who have different perspectives on this matter, who know better about this situation. I wanted to ask you, how well do you know his situation and what happened in Cincinnati? But I know other sources know it even better than we do. So yeah, I can't wait to talk. I kind of just known, you know, what was put out there and what I watched on YouTube and the news clips at the time and T.I. talking about himself. That's yeah. that's why. But, you know, Spider Lope pretty much came with a whole nother perspective and i guess we can kind of assume you know that ti possibly seen that video that we done maybe i mean it had almost seven hundred thousand views mm -hmm. when when spider luke was um you know talking about ti and, and accusing him of some of the thing maybe he didn't I'm, I'm you know but you know it's just a situation where i think that you know the truth shall come to the light if somebody's putting it out there that look I, if anybody wants to have a paperwork party and somebody answers that then what do you do? Right. You, you can even say, oh, his nigga's too little. I ain't responding. Fuck him. What T.I. probably dig. You know what I mean? Or he's calling people out to the table again and say, look, nah, that ain't real. I ain't no snitch. I ain't no rat. A lot of people continue to say. There's going to be people in the comment section of this video 
is going to say, yo, he's a rat, he's a snitch, that. And you're going to have people say, nah, it ain't real. I don't know what the truth is here. I haven't seen any paperwork on T.I. myself. I didn't like that whole crime stop stoppers thing that he did in Atlanta. I thought that was kind of, you know, um, out of bounds. But again, that's not snitching. You know what I mean? It, just, it was just encouraging people, you know, um, to go to the police. Yeah, I had to ask you a question. <laughs> I forgot what the question was I had to ask you. But yeah, we'll get to it later on a, on a later day. I forgot <laughs> the question that I had to ask you about T.I., man. I, I should have wrote it down. I lost my train of thought. But yeah. yeah, man, it looks like an entertaining podcast. He is doing this podcast thing now, Expeditiously Podcast. Yeah, yeah. Um, Can't wait to talk some more about it, man. It's, uh, yeah. it's, it's one of them situations where it, it, it really has the attention of people and it, it, people are really looking at it like they want answers. And like I said, I really don't personally give a fuck whether he did or he didn't. But people are really passionate about it. And I want to hear more. Spider low. And, and if I have to, I, I could put the clip and back this up. But I remember the conversation. What he was pretty much saying about the T.I. situation in Cincinnati. You know, I mean, if Spider Lope hears that he's welcome to come on and clear this up on a podcast. He was saying that it was more to it. Like, you know, he's pretty much saying like T.I. was the antagonist. That night and, and you know disrespected some local dudes and they called him outside and as a result i think his friend name was phil ant or something like that you know was killed out there Philandro so, or something like that yeah 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 something no disrespect you know to the family yeah, yeah. they watch it but um he was killed like that so he was that, that's what he was saying i mean we don't know that to be true at all we were just sitting here listening There's no different if ti came on here and talked. we were gonna sit here and listen mm -hmm. to his story and what he's saying and give him the floor so you know, again, we, we you know, the true self come to the light. T.I. is the one who put the uh, information out there to claim out there that anybody wants to have a paperwork party. So when guys step up, you know, and try to challenge that, then it is what it is. I remember my question. Does it bother, oh, God, T.I. hearing you a snitch? You a snitch? Because even his response, I mean, it's a great topic of conversation to have with the roundtable he had. It's good for the podcast. We all know that. But he chose that clip in particular. He wrote what he wrote for a reason so do you still feel as though years and years after this that that still bothers him and hangs over his head and should he be bothered with it if in fact it's not true um i think that when people hear stuff anything especially something like that when you're supposed to be a rapper and you know a guy that comes from the street you're successful that will bother anybody especially even people in your own city fellow rappers echoing those same sentiments you know what i mean saying dude's a rat so you know, um, people were just not only that situation Spider Luke was talking about, but people always insinuated because he was able to get out of that situation where he was caught with those um, federal guns, the silencers and all that. He was facing like 30, 40 years and he made off, you know, with probation. People tried to attribute that to him ratting, but you can't because, you know, if there if there was paperwork, if he did so-called snitch with somebody, it's sealed and we can't see it. But, you know, um, I just think with that situation, me personally, that he had to pay the money into the situation and he just had, you know, because of his power and influence at the time, they gave him a more lenient sentence. He had people in high places, whether it was record execs or people who own some stock to some big places were on his team at the time. I think no different than Meek Mill, Pat uh, Rubin and, um, you know, all those billionaires on his side, that type of situation. It was just a diamond in a rough situation for T.I. at the time. Seriously, that's what I think. I don't think that he ratted or snitched on anybody to get less time in that situation. All right. Let's say that no paperwork comes up. All the speculation aside, um, everybody that says what they say, they say what they say, but no actual paperwork comes out on the situation. When do we stop labeling him or when should he ever? Is that ever that label ever going to come off TRs is something that'll forever be there just because of the circumstance. And it doesn't matter how much um, evidence comes out against the fact that he snitched. He'll always be labeled that way. You have to ask those guys who calling him snitch, you know, we, can't that's, wait. that's the best way. Yeah. That, you know, that's a good question for one of them guys. Mm -hmm. I can't, you know, put put it on him at all. I wouldn't call him a snitch, me personally. You've been on record to say you don't yeah, I personally I wouldn't, I wouldn't believe that, that he was a snitch. Right? Yeah. I haven't seen anything that said, oh, he's a snitch. Or whatever like that. And I do understand, you know, the whole street code thing where people, you know, you're not supposed to t talk to the police. Yeah, people even calling him, a, um, calling him a rat for that little police video. Yeah. Remember that thing? So, you know, I don't know how far this shit goes, but, you know, that just is what it is. But it's crazy. Yeah, man. And this conversation will always be debated no matter how much yeah. evidence comes out. And 
we're gonna debate it some more can't wait yeah man definitely but you tune into the hip-hop uns